Hi everyone, this is Pretty Grumpy Bear. Today we're going to be detectives to investigate a mysterious arson attack. We're going to find out who burnt Freddy's fright. We don't have many suspects on this case. I think the two primary people of interest would be the guard and Springtrap, because they're the ones we know could be in the attraction at night. Five Nights at Freddy's Wiki says a lot of people think it's the god who did it, because he had enough of this crazy place, he went nuts and burnt it. While he's totally capable of burning this place down, there are evidences suggest that he didn't. Here in the photo, Springtrap was there. It looks intact. There's no burn marks on him. If the god really lost his mind and set fire on the whole place, Springtrap would totally be trapped inside at least it would be blackened by the smoke. But we don't see it here. Springtrap evaded the fire entirely. This makes us wonder, how can Springtrap get away from the fire? Springtrap can't dash like Foxy. If someone else started a fire, probably by the time Springtrap noticed, it's already too late. The only way to ensure him getting away in time is if he's the one who started it. There's also some more clues from the newspaper. The police thought the fire was probably caused by faulty wiring instead of being a deliberate arson attack. If the guard started the fire, the police would have probably noticed some traces. However, if Springtrap did it, since it's likely possessed, it's a supernatural being. It doesn't have to physically lit a match to cause a fire. Sometimes just by existing in a place, animatronics can already affect the electronics, the lights, the camera, etc. If Springtrap wanted to start a fire, it could totally make some wires burn itself. That, in police eyes, equals to accident. They would have never suspected anything abnormal behind it. From this report, we can deduce when the fire took place. Since we saw this newspaper after we finished night 6, normally we can assume this happened on that night. But this is not possible because it says the place burned overnight. We were there that night. There's no fire, and we didn't leave until 6 a.m. If the fire started after we left, then it would be in the morning, not at night. So the fire didn't happen on night 6, it happened after that, very possibly on night 7. There's no night 7 in the game. This could mean the god didn't work on that night. I think it's because the owners of Freddy's Frights didn't know the animatronics as well as the previous owners. They didn't know that animatronics would wander around the place at night and attacking guards. So when the guard quit after night 6, they probably figured there wouldn't be a problem to have no guard for one night. So they didn't find a replacement. That gave Springtrap the chance he needed. He was free to do whatever he wanted. So he burns the place. And no one was there to stop him. This is my theory on the fire at the end. What are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment below and tell me. Or tweet me. My Twitter handle is at PGBGame. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!